Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. First, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Oh, right, I stashed them down here. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. I think I'm ready to go now. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Ugh. <sighs> 
so awkward. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? No, nope. this is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. Are we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Really, I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? 
I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I meant, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more. But it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? 
spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you. Not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even... Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to go home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. It's so weird being back on this boat. Ain't she? You planning to land a moose with that? Good eye. Wanna draw on a bull tag up this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? Never had the chance. No. Too bad. Ain't nothing like laying down the hammer on a big damn animal to make you feel alive. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Blink it, I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not.
Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah. It was terrible. You could smell the- Hey. Didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man. So many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? The neighbor kid was the one who pushed you in all the time. Yeah. What's he up to? Bobby? I, uh, kinda dated him. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've gotta have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? 
Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Mm -hmm.